All right, so because this is a shorter game, I want to try a different style of review today. No long fancy transitions or montages, we're going to go quicker this time. Okay, so Horned Knight is a 2D action platformer where you play as a knight making his way through the various floors of a large castle. It was developed by, oh geez, sorry in advance, Josep Manzanas Hernandez and published by Two Awesome Studio and is currently available for PC, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One for $5.99. Couple things you should know about this game before you start playing. There's literally no story apart from Hero Knight Fights Through Castle, so this one's all about the gameplay. Also, for some reason, the game assumes you're using a controller on PC. I couldn't even figure out what some of the keyboard controls were, even though it does appear to have them, so you're probably better off just plugging a controller in. Visually, the game is what you'd expect from a pixel art game. There's nice short animations, and most enemy attacks and other obstacles are telegraphed. Sometimes the game can look a bit jittery if you're moving around, but I got used to that pretty quickly. The music and sound effects are pretty nice. And the only thing that got annoying is that the game uses the same death noise for everything including you. In terms of gameplay, it's pretty basic. You can jump, you can dash, and you can slash. The levels are short and fun for the most part, and most of them follow a pretty similar structure. You'll be jumping over spike pits, fighting a few enemies, and probably getting past some other obstacles like spinning fireballs. There are several obstacle setups you'll see repeated, and that's unfortunate considering how short the game is. But it was still fun learning how to deal with each of them, even if the collision can feel a bit off sometimes. It's also weird how a lot of the jumps require you to jump straight up and then dash across rather than getting a running start, but once I realized this, it stopped being an issue. Overall, the gameplay loop is pretty fun, and my only major issue with it is that it's just a bit too repetitive. For example, the enemies. There's only like five types of them apart from bosses, meaning you'll know how to deal with each of them pretty quickly. And I think a few more would have helped with the repetition quite a bit, as in the back half of the game I knew what to do and found myself brute forcing my way through the levels. And then there's the bosses. There's four of them, and they're pretty fun to go up against, even if they only seem to have one main attack each, apart from spawning smaller enemies. This brings me to my only other complaint about the game, which is that it just feels rough around the edges and a little unfinished. Even something simple like giving the bosses names would have gone a long way, cause it's just less exciting to be fighting something called boss health. The game is also pretty short. There's four worlds with eight levels each, and each level took me about two to five minutes to beat. So you should be able to finish the game in about an hour and a half. Also, don't expect any secret final level or anything, as it just abruptly ends and thanks you for playing after the final boss. Oh, also Achievement Hunters might like this game, cause it's really easy to get them all. Seriously, I'd 100%ed the list before I was even halfway through the game. All in all, Horn Knight is a short and repetitive action platformer. It may lack some polish, but in my opinion it makes up for that by being cheap and because I genuinely enjoyed my time with it. So if you're looking for a game to quickly 100%, or to just have something to enjoy while you're stuck in online video calls, Horde Knight just might be the game for you. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 4 out of 10, since it's short but pretty fun. And there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, subscribe for more videos coming soon, and until next time, remember, just use a controller. You'll save yourself some trouble that way. See you next time, everyone.